Yeah, welcome back to another video and today guys i'm going to be discussing should leicester city after europa league exit and like by the form sack brendan rogers in my opinion i say no because i don't see them getting like a big ego manager because because no disrespect to midland and no disrespect to leicester they're like a big club but like i don't like see like a like an elite football manager that would want to go there even though i think Going to Leicester wouldn't be a bad thing for an elite manager, but like Leicester, like where up the Midlands, there's there's not like like that like media and that big ego like like millions of followers in the Leicester squad. Like they've got very very good players, but in my opinion, for like managers like that are like elite, some some managers and not all managers go to like uh like um clubs because they've got like players have got like millions of instagram followers or twitter followers and not like just because of like their genuine like greatness or like quality within the club because the next couple of fixtures they've got newcastle then they've got spurs then they've got liverpool in the carabao cup then they've got man city away in the league then they've got I think they've got Burnley and Brighton. Burnley and Brighton are the only fixtures that, that that are in there that I've mentioned out of those fixtures, in my opinion, that are winnable. Well, they're all winnable because anything can happen in football. But the likelihood is that they're, other than Burnley and Brighton, they'll lose all of those games that I've just mentioned there if they're playing out the way that they're playing at the moment in those games, if they if they play like that. They, they, they become like very, 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 very vulnerable um, from set pieces. So... If like you've got a side that's very good at whipping in free kicks or like um, corners in, then you're most likely to score against Leicester because that's their weakness and that's where their vulnerable parts are in their team. Uh, I I I think. Rodgers has had like two seasons where it's gone really really well, where he's got fifth and fifth and. He's won them an FA Cup and he's won them a Community Shield. But I don't think he can take them any farther, further than what he's already done, in my opinion. Because I think, like, sides like now, like, the the top four sides, like, United are getting better under uh, Ranić, surely, but surely. And then I don't see them getting into that top three where Chelsea and... Liverpool and Man City are because I think the quality of those three teams that I've just mentioned there is a lot higher than the quality is at Leicester. Don't get me wrong, they've still got quality, but I think like that the, the, they shouldn't have signed Bertrand because in my opinion he's overrated and and they should have like gone with like someone that they know has already played has already played for like a decent well like well he has played for a decent club because don't make me wrong, Southampton are quite a decent side, but like. From like what I've seen of him so far in in his career at Southampton, I don't and and what I've seen in Leicester so far, I don't I don't see any reasons why they should have signed him and why they did sign him. And also, Evans is looking like he's aging a bit and like he's he's getting like one or two injuries like a season. Don't get me wrong. If they win the Conference League, it will be a big achievement for them because it would be like their first European ever competition, if, if I'm right in saying. But if they win it, it won't be like as remembered as it was when they won the Premier League and the FA Cup because the Premier League and the FA Cup are two bigger and better competitions than what the Conference League is. And I don't think they give Kletchi and Acho as much game time as he deserves. Because, in my opinion, he steps up um, quite a lot because he got the penalty winner for Leicester versus us and he's, he, he, he does well when he plays, but the issue is with Leicester, they don't play him enough as they should. And if they bought him off City just to put him on the bench, then I don't see the reasons why they signed him. Going back to Rodgers, who would he, like, go to, like, a top-flight club? Well, I'm saying that, like, no, well, Leicester are kind of a good club, but, like, from what I'm trying to say is, like, would he get a job at Spurs? I don't think he would, because they've got Conte there. If, like, Guardiola left tomorrow, I wouldn't be looking, I wouldn't be ringing up 
Rodgers and say, we want you in now, because... Yes, he plays some decent football, but in my opinion, sides that have played against him so far this season have learned like how he plays and also how Leicester played this season. And I think they need a new centre back to pair alongside Sionchu because I think Evans is good, but I think his his days like and legs are like, are like slowing down slowly but surely. And I think Vardy. Don't get me wrong; he still get twenty plus goals a season, but in my opinion, he's not like at that elite level like where he was a couple of years ago. Where like when in the season that they won their title in fifteen sixteen and. When they won the title in 15-16, no one expected that. Everyone had them down as favourites to go down, let alone win the Premier League title. And I think if they lose like a couple of more of decent players, not only will they drop their Europa League spot, spot, they might come back. They might go back to where like they were a couple of years ago, which was being like a tenth, ninth place team and like being a mid-table team. I think Leicester, they've got a very, very good ownership, in my opinion. Because, obviously, you know what happened with the owner that was there that died. And, like, with his daughter that died in a helicopter crash a couple of years ago. His his sons took over now and he's, and he's done great things for the, for the club. But... They haven't invested... Um, in like players that they should have done, they've they've made two irrelevant signings that they that were just unnecessary in Vestergaard and Bertrand because Vestergaard is never going to get into the team with Johnny Evans there, and uh, unless Johnny Evans retires or uh, hangs off his boots or leaves Leicester, I don't see Vestergaard walking into that Leicester starting eleven, and I don't see Bertrand if with, with the way that he's carrying on if if he doesn't pick up. Um, improving, I can just see them moving on, moving it, moving that, them moving him on elsewhere, and then having to look for a left back else, elsewhere in a in a different place. I mean, a different club. The Rotners are re are really really good. Don't get me wrong; they have brought success to the to the club, which like. They did expect success, but they didn't expect like the big major trophies that they have got like in the cabinet in the last couple of years, like a Premier League and an FA Cup. In my opinion, they've got the second best owners in the league. I think only Man City's owners are, are better than Leicester's. Because I think it was a disrespect to like the clubs like Leicester and West Ham that did so well last season. And like the in my opinion, they've got way better owners than United Spurs and Arsenal. And I think that owner will will bring better times back to, to Leicester and, and and they will get back to, to where they, they will do eventually. But in my opinion, if they sack Rodgers, I don't see who they get because Lampard, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain, once Rafa Benitez does get sacked, because even though they did get the good result against Arsenal in the week, I don't see him being the right man for Everton in like the long-term perspective. And I think Leicester... Like might have to put like Vardy down as like a bench player because well not like a bench player because it'd be like a starter and always be a starter until he le like leaves the club. But I don't think they can like rely on him to get like up to like thirty goals or twenty five goals anymore. Because I think like when his time like started like slowing down a bit is when he retired from international football. Obviously that got him a a, a bit better, but I don't think um um. In my opinion, if he carried on do playing international football a bit more, like for a bit longer, th then he might um, be playing like better at the moment because of obviously he he get like more fitness because of like when because of extra playing for England. I think Leicester. They're a very 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 good team. They've got some good players, but the worry for them is if they lose like their top players, like Madison, Tielemans. Tielemans is like a bigger miss for Leicester nowadays than actually Vardy is when he's not on the pitch. Because I've watched Leicester again. I watched Leicester versus Villa. Um, I thought they were the better team 
in the in the in the first half just needed that little little more extent of clinicalness in in front of goal to 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 get them in the lead at half time and then second half Villa come out a completely different team and so did Leicester for a bad benefit for Leicester and a good benefit for Villa and then Villa t- start playing like the, the side that they played so far under Villa's um, I mean Gerard Regrain at Villa, and and they they played Leicester up the park in that second half. If Yuri Chilimans had been on that pitch versus Villa, I don't think that would have happened. And he went back in um, to the side last night when they got knocked out of the Europa League three two to Napoli, and he 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 did look like not like the same player, but that's because he hasn't got like the players around him doing well to like to to create the like. Like freedom for him to like go on his runs and dribbles and like and like create the chances that he was doing before his injury. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe. I would say out of the games that Leicester have got coming up, I'd I'd say the rest of the 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 Liverpool and Man City ones and like the Spurs ones. I think they're going to lose, but the Brighton and the Burnley games. I think I can see them picking up six points out of out of those fixtures that they've got coming up. And I wouldn't be surprised if they went on like a, a decent Conference League run or a Carabao Cup run. Because Carabao Cup, they've still got a very good chance. And even better chance now that they haven't got like the four years holders on it. Man City in the competition. Because obviously West Ham did them a favour in, 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 in them knocking us out. And I think they've got a very good chance. But I think their best chance of silverware this season is probably Conference League because of like... I think this is like a season that is like a transition season for Leicester because them finishing fifth the last two years, any like lower than that or like like lower than sixth or seventh considering in the last two seasons would be like a, a massive downgrade and disappointment for all Leicester fans and the club and the, and the ownership. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you guys for another video later on for my match day preview for Manchester City versus Wolves and I will also be doing my... FIFA content and go and watch my FIFA content, uh, my FIFA episode from yesterday so you can catch up so like you don't watch the latest one without like because like you're going to it with missing like the games from last episode and if you want to catch up on that I'd recommend you watching that first before my latest one comes out when I do it later. Thanks for watching, love you guys, love all your guys support, targeting 100 subscribers before Christmas, hopefully we can get there and thanks for watching, goodbye, thanks, thanks, thanks and hope you enjoyed.